Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about Ixlon and whether or not I believe it's going to be a good set. And we have a lot of the cards. So it's not like a regular set where we don't know what the tribes will be. The tribes will be dinosaurs, pirates, and vampires. And it's not like we don't know it's going to have merfolks, possibly goblins. It's going to be extremely tribal, which is a lot of fun. The tribes, so you can see kind of the goblin in the background of the destroy target non-merfolk creature. And obviously we will have merfolks and we have land that are specific to creature types. And I like that type of general ability where you don't need to, it can be any tribe. And 2017 Commander is also tribal, so we should get some very useful cards out of Ixlon. Why my gut feeling tells me Ixlon, there will be cards in Ixlon that are incredibly powerful, is due to what's rotating out. So we are rotating out four different sets. That's a lot. We're rotating out Battle for Zendikar, which has Gideon, ally of Zendikar, possibly the strongest card and historically speaking in standard, it was a four of forever and it was dominant. And we also are rotating out the most expensive card, Liliana the Last Hope, which until recently had that title. I think Chandra is slightly more expensive now. So you're rotating out the two best planeswalkers and you are left with, what are you left with, right? Vehicles. But a braid does a very good job stopping vehicles. Yes, you do need to draw it, but it's something that you can main board and not feel too bad about because a lightning strike, not to the face, but to a any creature is good enough anyway to see play in standard. Uh, what I am excited about is the tribals. You have dinosaur tribal, which this is the big sun's avatar. Essentially, if you hit for damage, it's a 7-6 with Trample Vigilance Haste. If you hit for damage, you get to put as many uh, dinosaur cards from the top, uh, depending on how much damage you've dealt. So if you dealt 7, you get to tutor 7 down for any dinosaur card. The pirates are also interesting, and it is... They're Grixis. They're not just pirates, they're human pirates, might, which might matter later. Other pirates you control get plus one, plus one. At the beginning of your end step, gain control target non-land permanent controlled by a player who was dealt combat damage by three or more pirates this turn. That's very cool because you get that permanent forever. You just have to stack pirates. And start of extinction, so obviously the big bang for, bang for the... Dinosaurs, uh, destroy target land, it deals 20 damage to each creature and each planeswalker. Fascinating. Stuffy Doll would be very good. It would be an instant kill of that card. So I think this card will be... Uh, why I like pirates and dinosaurs, I have a very unique take on it. So sometimes I play during this set called Legions, and Legions was all about tribals, and we didn't have any spells. We just had creatures and... Scourge is all tribal and goblins were all tribal. I hope that there's not one tribe that is significantly better than the other tribes. I hope that they are balanced. And from what I can see, they are balanced. There are some good cards. Dinosaurs is probably top of the curve. It's going to need some help. And pirates are mid range. And I assume merfolks and or goblins will be aggro or vampires. Vampires, I don't know where it's going to be more mid rangey. Overall, I am. From what I can see of the design, the merchandise, they have done a good job. And I'm excited for this set. Am I going to buy a ton of it? Probably not. It's not the set is bad. A lot of you think that I think Hour of Devastation is bad. It's just A, too much of it will be printed. And B, the power level is not... Uh, it's very hard for a new set to have cards that are so powerful they can stand the test of time in Eternal. Now, will we see more? It's going to be an interesting period when Wizard of the Coast starts to spoil these cards that have already been spoiled. And who knows? We haven't seen any Planeswalkers. That's where I would speculate on. We're losing two of the strongest Planeswalkers in Standard. By far, Lily and Gideon, they were dominant. They were dominant. 
Uh, there's no other way to say it. We're losing some other valuable cards. For the most part, the Mardu Vehicles deck is intact, but that has been much weakened by a braid. Zombies might be okay, but if Zombies doesn't see more tribal support, then it's kind of a break-even point at this point. They, they are only as strong as they will get. Red deck wins will always be strong in the beginning, but then something will always phase it out. So interestingly enough, we are getting into a scenario where the Planeswalkers in this set, should they be powerful, will be quite valuable. And that's what you have to look at. Currently, there's just not that many. Um, there's, not that, there's not that many powerful cards after rotation. And the powerful cards, Heart of Kinran, they keep tanking. And they keep tanking because a braid is wrecking that deck. Like, that deck cannot beat a braid. You just get blown out. Now, on the flip side, um, on the flip side of this, Tribal. If you want to take a gamble, Liliana, the zombie Tribal, is very low right now. And it might be worth it. I think it could be worth going in. And it's something that would not surprise me if you have more cards like the land, which supports any type of tribal, then you will have a boost in the zombie tribal. So if you have pump spells like Metallic Mimic and things of that nature, they will get a boost. What, what I hope this does is it makes a fun standard environment. I don't think this is going to be crazy competitive anymore. I mean, by definition, it's dinosaurs, vampires, zombies, and pirates. They are very fun archetypes that are to encourage new players to get in the game. I do feel like that's the way to do it. And these tokens, right? So instead of getting promos, we get tokens. And these tokens are perfect for the beginner player. The beginner player is going to be more interested in a token dinosaur than they would be in perhaps something else. Anyway, uh, I feel very strongly about this set. I think it's going to go very well. And in the at the end of the day, it's for the casual players. It truly is for all the casual players. And that's where Magic should focus on. Anyway, leave me a comment below. Bye, guys.